Princess Anne sends secret message to Queen with powerful Anzac Day outing. Princess Anne led the royal family in marking Anzac Day at the weekend, showing the world the firm was back to business now the official two-week period of mourning following the death of her father Prince Philip is over. Princess Anne, 70 looked striking in bright purple as she and husband Timothy Lawrence carried out Anzac Day engagements on Sunday. The Princess Royal attended a special service at Westminster Abbey and visited Australian and New Zealand war memorials to mark the two nations' day of remembrance for those who have died serving their country. Her visit came two days after the royal family's official period of mourning following the death of Prince Philip came to an end on Friday. While royals had worn black while mourning the Duke as a show of respect in recent weeks, Anne's bright mauve ensemble signaled a return to the usual way of doing things. Purple is a color deeply rooted in royal history and by wearing the shade it seems Anne wished to show Queen Elizabeth II she was more dedicated to the firm than ever before. Anne wore a royal purple hat, scarf, and dress coat which she teamed with black leather gloves and boots. Why is purple a royal color? Purple is traditionally associated with royalty and the ruling class. The shade's elite significance stems from the cost of the dye originally used to produce it. Only rulers could originally afford to wear purple garments which is why it became associated with wealth and power. The color purple was so precious to Queen Elizabeth I that the Tudor ruler banned anyone other than close royal family members from wearing it. While Anne is 15th in line to the throne. She a key member of the monarchy and is known to be one of its hardest working members, carrying out hundreds of engagements every year. By wearing purple she appeared to show her unwavering dedication to the Queen and the Crown during what has doubtless been a very difficult time. The royal family plugged Anne's Anzac Day outing on social media, tweeting photos and details about the engagements. The first tweet read, Early this morning, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence attended the hashtag Anzac Day Dawn service at Wellington Arch, on behalf of the Royal Family. On hashtag Anzac Day we pay tribute to all those who gave their lives serving in the Australian and New Zealand Army Corps. A second read, the Princess Royal and Vice Admiral Sir Tim Lawrence attended the Anzac Day service of commemoration and thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey this afternoon. HRH speaks to the High Commissioners of Australia and of New Zealand. Fans were quick to praise the Princess Royal on social media with many of them sharing their approval by commenting on the royal family's tweets. One fan gushed. Princess Anne is the most hard-working royal and knows what is expected of her as a member of the royal family. None of the complaints that other members make. Another chimed in, my favorite royal. She is beautiful, brilliant and bold. She is what I would like to be. A third wrote, a real senior member of the family and hard-working. She makes her mum proud I'm sure. While a fourth put, the Princess Royal is an hashtag icon. Love seeing her and how proud her mother HMTQ must be. Dot.